Hello, it's me, Reynard Wilson, and I'd love to welcome you back to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, try to explain everything that is explicable about one man. His name is Mark Steele. Now, why, you might be asking, why does he want to keep talking about Mark Steele? What's so big about that, that, that nut job from Gateshead? <laughs> well, your words, not mine. I like to talk about Mark Steele because he is one of the most interesting people on the planet. He's got some theories that are a bit out there, a <laughs> bit wacky, bit woohoo, bit uh, uh, if you follow me. And uh, I think it might be good for all of us to, to talk about them and just understand a little bit about what's going on in the older world of Mark. Today's episode is going to be an absolute humdinger because I found another clip on that informative and educational website, BitChute. It's from a channel called Trollcatcher General, which I believe is Mark's own channel. And um, if you want to see the video in its unedited glory, it's called Redemption is Key to Stand Up and Be the Resistance. I, I highly recommend that you watch that. Then, then you'll know that, that my edits were only to clarify and make Mark seem more coherent and sensible than he really is. So, journey with me, once again, into the mind of steel. Well, everybody, it doesn't, you know, give us great pleasure in what I'm going to have to say. Mm. I think Mark is about to lay a, a big fat truth bomb on, onto all of us. So please put on your truth proof asbestos pants and, and get ready for, for an inbound hailstorm of fact. Remember when they said I was exaggerating? There's thousands and thousands, my countrymen, women and children, right, are dying. And they're baffled. Same as they're baffled about the fact that it's not getting very warm. The spring hasn't sprung. So it's just, they're baffled. Everyone is baffled except for one man. His name is Mark Steele. And he's the only one who sees the world with absolute Clinical, cold, hard clarity. So all these people sitting in universities all walking around baffled, like the doctors who are baffled. The lawyers are baffled. Why was I never baffled? Academics, lawyers, doctors, they're walking around in a state of confusion. They're, they're bumping into things. They're, they're falling over their own shoelaces. They're a bunch of bloody idiots. Like I said, the most galling thing about it was people in my own movement who said it's not 5G, who said uh, it's safe, who said he's exaggerating. Mark is like Cassandra from Greek mythology because he's cursed to know the truth but never be believed. So all those wannabe electronics engineers and scientists out there, wannabe. You know, I remember one who said that you can't cause ionization in the non-ionized radiation spectrum. I mean, get people killed. Imagine how hard it must be to, to be Mark, to be in possession of, of such unique and singular knowledge. The revelation that non-ionizing radiation can in fact cause ionization, despite the fact the clue being in the name, right? You'd think that something called non-ionizing radiation, there might be a reason why scientists, since the discovery of ionization and radiation, chose to classify radiation into those two different groups. No, no, no. Mark has the truth. And when Mark knows something, it means that everybody else is wrong. You know, what a doctor would see is a virus, an electromagnetic radiation. Somebody actually said I was it, it was total science. And we're talking about people in the movement here. Mark's beef is with other conspiracy theorists. His, his ideas are too wacky, even for conspiracy nutjobs. All that whispering in people's ears. He's exaggerating. He's discrediting the whole 5G movement. He's telling you, he's telling you the government's trying to kill you. 
and you had your little meetings and that, and it was all do and take any notice. He's, uh, he's exaggerating. If it's any consolation to you, Mark, the anti-5G movement is perfectly capable of discrediting itself without you being involved. It doesn't need your help to look like a complete and utter fool. Just, just look at legal action against 5G. They were supposed to be the sensible anti-5G people. Well, uh, look at how they managed to beclown themselves and, and waste approximately £200,000 in the process. Well, I mean, Mark, you know, I know it hurts to be uninvited from all the parties, but you can't expect to be loved by everyone. You, you don't need Sally Bear to, to love you. You've got us. Doors never closed. See, I don't judge. I'm not judging anybody. There may be people out there who made mistakes. It's time to redeem yourself. You know hell, it burns. It burns heavy. Show those people that do the wrong thing. So I'm going to say something. Redemption. Mark doesn't judge. But God judges. And if you disagree with Mark, God will judge you and send you to hell. So if you don't want to go to hell, you better agree with Mark. I've got an opportunity. Not for much longer. I'll tell you now. Those doors, right? I'm not yet to tell you when, by the way. Redemption. It's time to redeem yourself. Please, don't waste this opportunity. You have to save your own soul. Just send a written apology to Mark Steele. And some money. That would be nice as well. And that way, your soul can be cleansed. You can go to heaven. Because I've got a good memory, so I remember this. So I'm going to expect some redemption. You know, there's a few people out there who I'm expecting to uh, get a communication and an apology. Right? But I want them to focus themselves. I want them to redeem themselves. And they can redeem yourself quite easily. You start making you made a mistake. Well, I'm going to write my apology letter now. Um, here we go. Um, Dear Mark, I am sorry for calling you an idiot and for saying that lampposts won't kill us all immediately. I agree now that lampposts are in fact deadly. Sorry for making fake um, scientific papers which you believed and causing you to, to make a fool of yourself. Uh, um, yours sincerely, Reynard Wilson. Well, I'll just get that in the post right now, and I'm sure that will guarantee me eternal salvation. We're not talking about we're not talking about our adversary. I'm not talking about Brigade 77. I expect them to lie. Mark actually believes that uh, MC Toon and, and, and me and, and all the other people who have made a fool of him are members of Brigade 77. Or 77th Brigade is, is a branch of the British Army. It's British Army intelligence. And it, it's a strange thing to believe because I don't think there's any army that would want me as a member of its elite intelligence unit. I'm not the kind of person who would really exist in that kind of hierarchical organisation. But you know, why does Mark have this with him? Well, it, it's because he likes to imagine that the enemies that are arrayed against him are so vast and powerful, that provides a perfect explanation why he's been so spectacularly unsuccessful in, in doing whatever it is he's set out to do. But if the truth is that his opponents are, are just a bunch of middle-aged men with too much time to kill, then it makes it seem all the more pathetic, doesn't it? Same as the climatologists in their universities, the fraudsters, where they say they don't know why Spring hasn't sprung. Why is it so cold? What's going on? Well, yeah, that's a good point. Why is it that summer 2023 has been so cold? We got heat advisories across uh, the U.S. from border to border. I mean, Central Florida reaching a triple-digit heat index Wednesday. Well, it's hot. It's too hot. <laughs> Sarasota, El Paso, and Portland, all seeing record highs Wednesday. I want to move out of Florida. Oh yeah, it hasn't. Mark just made that up. And now what's going to happen, lots more people are going to die. So you've got blood on your hands. Now when you've got blood on your hands, right, it's not a place I'd like to be. It's called dirty hands. There's no way I'd want to die. 
right? For my soul to go to hell because I had dirty hands, well, that's a matter for you. That is a matter for you, dear viewer. So whether your hands are as clean and sterile as a surgeon who maybe is a, about to implant a 5G tracking microchip made by Bill Gates into somebody's arm, or, or perhaps, let's say, uh, that the clean hands of somebody who has just wiped them with one of those delicately lemon-scented pre-moistened towelettes. Well, huh. but even if your hands are dirty, perhaps your hands might be begrimed and, and filthy and, and covered with, with revolting dirt and, 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 and soot. And even if your hands are as, as, as filthy as a chimney sweeps after a hard day of, of sweeping Victorian chimneys. I want you to feel welcome, once again, in a week's time, to another episode of Mind of Steel.